What is up, everybody? So I've been getting a lot of questions recently about how I get this right here, this rank tracker overlay right here. Uh, I'm about to show you step by step of how to do that. Um, this involves joining uh, my Discord and uh, and another Discord because the second Discord is the one to get the specific API key that you have to get. So uh, without further ado, here we go. Yo! So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to my Discord. So discord.gg slash Kreenak. I will put the link in the bio below. Or you could just go in the bio below, in the description below. But you could just go to discord.gg slash Kreenak. Once you're here, uh, you just make sure you click the welcome, uh, the welcome rules info and, and select the check mark right here. So that way you can get member access. So that way once you do have that, you have the ability to see this channel right here or not the necessarily see the channel but be able to see the past text then you click here on this link right here or if you if you don't want to join my discord and you see the link right here go ahead and type that link in on your on your browser once you're in your browser and you go here um you're gonna before you start filling all this out because this is gonna be the last step before you start filling this out if you need the api key whatever right so in order to get this api key you click right here or you could click the here part uh because i'm pretty sure it'll bring you to it uh english right here then you click to join the discord once you're in the discord right once you're in the discord that is going to bring you to you go here and uh you make sure you select the role to be able to get the valorant api is the role that you want to select so it's going to ask you all the roles and stuff um you make sure you get valorant api once you go to valorant api okay uh you're going to click get a key once you hit generate i can't click generate because it, i already have a key and i don't want my key popping up because it, it's the same key uh, you just click generate right here you click valorant boom i already have oh it didn't pop mine up so you already have an api key okay so boom click valorant right here it should bring you up to a point where it gives you a key once you get that key then you enter that key into here once you enter that key into here then you fill out with your username and then your val your valorant id so the the name and then the hashtag and then you click what region you're in and then you could customize i usually orange is my favorite color so i typically do like an orange background um you could do like a black text you could do like a red text you could do whatever and once you once you do all that uh and you could set like a custom url for like a custom background um stuff like that you, there's quite a few things you could do with it or a couple things you could do with it and once you finish that you hit submit once you hit submit you're gonna take the link that it gives you right here and you're gonna put it in your uh you're just gonna cl gonna click add browser and I already have it, so where is that? And it's going to pop up right here, and then boom, it should pop up right here, and you can put it anywhere you want, and it automatically updates for wins and losses. Now, the one thing you are going to want to know is that when you do this, you want to make sure that it does not have shutdown source when not visible or refresh browser when seen becomes active, because anytime this refreshes the browser, it resets your win-loss record. So if you're a midstream and you turn off your OBS studio or your TikTok live studio or something like that, and this thing gets refreshed, your win-loss record is going to go back to zero. It counts that as a session. Um, so that is how you add the, the uh, Valorant tracker to your stream. Uh, you can also do you can also add it on TikTok Live Studio as well if you stream on Studio if you're looking for it for TikTok. Um, uh, just know that I'm pretty sure TikTok anytime you switch scenes will refresh the browser. I don't think you have the ability to be able to set it to do that. I haven't tried yet. Um, so but I do remember previously when I was using TikTok Live Studio, anytime I would switch scenes it would go back to zero zero. So be careful with that one. Um, I'm not too sure how that's going to work out on TikTok. Um, that's why what I do if I'm streaming through TikTok Live Studio, I have the vertical scene right here, and then I click the virtu uh, vertical virtual camera, and then I have my uh, Live Studio over here. So that way the link is actually on my OBS Studio, and then it still gets picked up and it doesn't reset. So that would be one thing that I would do. So um, that's how I would go about doing it on streaming on TikTok Live Studio is uh, using OBS Virtual Camera because OBS Virtual Camera can be used to literally send all your stuff, including your game, all that. Watch, watch, watch. I'll show you. I'll show you. Boom, click. There you go. Now I literally have 
all of my stuff here. So now I don't even have to worry about anything. My thing, my stuff goes here, and I don't, I'm not even changing my sources on TikTok Live Studio. I'm just changing scenes on my OBS Studio. So just so you know, that is, a, that is an option that you could do if you were wanting to do this for TikTok Live Studio. So I hope this video helps, and I hope you enjoy the Valorant uh, Tracker Overlay and API.